The Dune Steve Audio Fiction Magazine would like to apologize for the poor audio quality in this first episode. We are working on the bugs that we have and working out all the kinks. And we guarantee you that by episode three, no later than episode three, we will have wonderful audio quality. P- please stick with us throughout the uh, wait and listen to some great stories. The audio quality will still be pretty good. It'll be good enough to listen to anyways. So enjoy it and thank you. You're listening to the Dune Steve Audio Fiction Magazine. And now here's your hosts, Rish Outfield and Big Anklevich. Whenever you hear the word ribose, scream real loud. Yeah, but when, when do you, does anyone ever use the word ribose? Oh, wait, should we have screamed? I don't know. Okay, now we're playing, right? Right, right. But anytime somebody says that word, just like, like if you're watching the news and there's like a, something was discovered to have lots of ribose in it. Then what is ribose? Anyway? Ah! Oh, right, right, sorry. <laughs> oh, hey, folks, in case you're just joining us. Ribos, uh, apparently. Ah! You didn't do it. You lose. Okay, so What's welcome the... to Dune Steve. Uh, the exact title is... The Dune, Dune Steve, Steve Audio, Audio Fiction, Fiction Magazine. Magazine. This is our... Uh, did we decide Metacast? Or are we not going with uh, that pre- word? Podcast. Pre- pod- Whatever you decide to call the file name is what you're listening to, folks. So look at it. Unless you are blind... And if so, hey, I'm I'm, I'm really sorry because I, I saw that movie with Anne Hathaway and, and you're missing out. Right. <laughs> I just offended blind audience members out there. And, you know, there are probably more blind people that listen to podcasts than then, sighted people. No. No. Then deaf people. There, yeah. Oh, hey, we've got the information, right? Yes. There, There is. It's right there. The internet doesn't lie. All right. Okay. There you have it. So, uh, first of all, uh, welcome again to the thing that we haven't named yet for the Dune Steve, Dune Steve audio, audio fiction, audio, 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 the audio, audio, audio fiction, fiction magazine. We'll cut this all out, right? The Dune Steve yeah. audio yeah. fiction yeah. magazine. That's right. Welcome, everyone. You sexy boys. Thank you. Closer to you. That's all right. Hello. And uh, let's introduce ourselves. Uh, this is Rish Outfield. And I am Big Anklevich. It's not going to be hard to say. <sighs> Big Anklevich. Yes. The big one. To give you a little look as to uh, the part that you're going to want to skip each week. Oh, that's right. Because uh, something we discussed when we came up with this idea was that there are people that may not want to listen to us banter. Is that the word? Banter. Witty banter. Well, not yet. We'll let you know when okay. the witty. Part yeah, that comes may in. start up at some point. But there what may is... be people that don't want to listen to my attempt at witty banter or my attempt at pronunciation of the English language. Uh, and in that case, we'll have a separate podcast. It's just the story. The title of the story, who wrote it, the story, the end. Right. And or, lots of disclaimers, I'm sure. Oh, really? Do we be like, this is published under a whatever license and blah, 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 blah. We'll have announcer man do that stuff for us. The Dune Steve Audio Fiction Magazine is published under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives license. Yes, a professional announcer, <laughs> because you and I are... The opposite of professional is, uh, but anyhow, for the uh, the actual podcast, hopefully we'll have me and uh, Big Anklevich introduce each story. Maybe tell an off-color joke. Maybe say a word like ribose at the beginning of each <laughs> story. Ah! We'll never do that again, folks. I I can almost guarantee. Uh, so we'll we'll give you the story. Then we'll give something that's kind of unique. We will have the author provide us a little author's note. Author's note. Or what the story means, or when he wrote it, or she, or why he b- refers to himself as a she when he's clearly a woman. And uh, and then uh, the, we'll have the silly little disclaimers that I will never, ever read. Right. So we'll have a nice little blurb. Maybe that'll help people get to know the authors a little more intimately. You'll be able to feel like they're your friends coming to your home each week and... Telling you a story. And, and, you know, if you're like me, it will be the only friend that you have come over each week. He's not kidding. No. In fact, if there are any people left at home, 
I'm sure they are wondering, Doonstief, what, what does Doonstief mean? And, uh, you know, I, I, that's something I've been wondering myself. <laughs> okay. Funny story, actually. Doonstief, when I was in high school, I come home from football practice, dinner's on the table, it's still hot, you know, there's steam coming off the peas and everything, and, and the table's set, I'm walking around the house saying, hello, nobody's there, nobody's there, not my mother, my father, my sister, my two brothers, no one's there, I'm looking around, I go into the backyard, I did turn off the stove so I didn't burn down the house, I go into the front yard, there's nothing, and we had a whiteboard where we would leave messages so that we can say, hey, I went to the store or I went to the hospital or whatever. On the whiteboard, one word was written there, Dune Steve. And I never saw anyone from my family again. I grew up in foster care, and here I am. Hey, I had never heard that story before. Well, okay, folks. I, I completely agree now. The Dune Dune Steve Steve Fiction, Fiction Audio magazine. magazine. And yeah, I thought it was a weird word. I will never think that again. Wow. That's the kind of story that we're looking for, actually, in our fiction. Yeah, if you've got a story like that doesn't have to be true like mine is, because this is Dune, Dune Steve, Steve Audio, 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 Audio Fiction, Fiction magazine. magazine. You can base it on reality. Like, do a story just like that, except for, say, the only word on the whiteboard was ribose. <laughs> Wait, no, I said we weren't going to do that anymore. Oh, Don't say sorry, right. I'm sorry. The only word on there was... It was the F word, folks. <laughs> so, uh, so anyways, yeah, you could come up with a story like that or something different. Because what we're wanting to focus on is horror, science fiction, and fantasy stories. But if you have one that pushes the line, who knows? It's okay. Send it in. Because the main criteria is... Is it a good story? Is it one that's fun, that you want to sit down, you listen to when you're done, you've got a smile on, or you've peed your pants, or, you know, it, it's given you some kind of a nice reaction. It's something that you're not going to go, wow, I listened to that story for 30 minutes, and I'd really like those 30 minutes back. We're looking for stories that hopefully you won't say that at the end. Although we won't guarantee that there won't be any like that. And, yeah, if I can put my two cents in, uh, no. the weirder the better. Wait, no, let me take back one of those two cents. Weird, I like. Uh, maybe the weirder, the better, no. But, yeah, it's something that's unusual, something that stands out, something that is unique. I mean, it doesn't have to be crazy. And a lot of times, a story is really good, but it just doesn't work for audio. So the criteria has to be, you know, it's well-written, uh, somewhat unusual or weird, and it just has to sound good, read aloud. Something fast-paced... Something that people won't be nodding off while they're driving to work listening to it. Some adventure, maybe. A little whatever. Something good. That's really all it comes down to. And, basically, it's what we think is good. So, send us one of those. I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, short is better than long. All the girls that I've ever dated have felt the opposite, sadly. Um, that's why they're no longer dating me. But, uh, in my opinion, short is good yeah i mean if you've got a 12 page story that's a lot of work to read aloud and uh and just to read i mean it doesn't have to be 100 words or 1500 words or a thousand words we're not going to put an exact number on there but just kind of rein it in all right yeah i'd say right around 5,000 words and under is probably the best length although if it's a good enough story we may well take it anyways. Our first episode, which is coming up, will clock in well above 5,000 words. So, again, qualification is good story, fun story. Yeah, fun. You know, I didn't mention fun, but it, it doesn't have to be a professional sale kind of thing. It doesn't have to have been published in so-and-so magazine. If it's fun, you know, that makes all the difference to me. Are there any other requirements we need? The uh, submission guidelines are on the website, so take a look at those before you send it in. You know, we've got a uh, email to send things to. That would be submissions at dunesteef.com. And, and how did you spell that word, dunesteef? Dunesteef is spelt, hopefully as it sounds, D-U-N-E, as in a dune, like a sand dune, and steef, S-T-E-E-F. Steve as in? As in 
Uh, Steve, that guy who brings your mail sometimes, you know, Mailman Steve. Hey, there's just one more thing. We're not going to bar any stories because of content. You know, we're not going to say only PG rated stories that you would read to your children or my children before you whisk them away and help them for ransom. Just don't don't be explicit for explicit sake. If it's got sex in it, if it's got profanity in it, if it's got violence in it or whatever, and it's a part of the story, then that's fine. If it's explicit for explicit sake, right, boss, uh, then please leave that up. Right. What is that word that they like to use about nudity? Gratuitous. That's the one. Gratuitous sex. Gratuitous violence. It's not good. This isn't a drive-in movie. And we will not be giving each podcast a rating. We will not be giving a warning at the start of each podcast. The parental guidance will have to come from the parents. Don't rely on us to rate things for you because, first of all, every parent is different. They all allow different things to go to their children. And so we're going to go ahead and leave that up to you to uh, screen what you think is offensive from your children if you want your children to listen to podcasts. And why would you, really? You never know when we'll insert a word like chlamydia chlamydia, chlamydia. into uh, our podcast just because I happen to like that word and I have very mild Tourette syndrome. And besides the Dune Steve question, uh, is it all right? That I, I just have one other question. Uh-huh. Um, there are a lot of fiction podcasts out there, and with uh-huh. all of right. them just roaming the World Wide Web. Mm-hmm. Why, uh, why, why another one? Okay, so uh, that pretty much brings us to the end of our. Oh, holy cow! We got a hate letter of the week already. It's time for the hate letter of the week. Wow. Hey, Big Anklevich, would you mind reading the hate letter of the week? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, hate letter of the week. Dear Dune Steve staff, I recently heard about your podcasting venture and I was disgusted. Don't you have anything better to do with your time? What a giant waste of energy and time when you could be accomplishing something productive and maybe looking for someone of the opposite sex you could try to make me grandchildren with. Your podcast, like everything else you've ever done in life, will fail. I am ashamed to know you, and I hope you take your life very soon and put an end to the constant shame you bring me. Sincerely, Rish's mother. Thanks, Mom. All right. Keep those cards and letters coming, folks. Uh, Please. Any comments you might have, send them in. There's another email address if you have comments, and that will be editor at doomsteef.com for any comments you might like to send. Okay, so hey, that, that brings us to the end of the, the Metacast pre-podcast. The plaster cast. The, that, hey, that's right. <laughs> Again, uh, our website is... Website is doonsteef.com or doonsteef.org if you want. They all kind of filter down to the same place. That's right. For you people of Norwegian descent, doonsteef.org. Doonsteef.org. I like org better. Don't ever go to .com. That's short they for, suck. short for organ. That's why. That's right. <laughs> Which sometimes brings chlamydia. Okay. If you would like to send us a story... Please email that out to submissions at doonsteef.com. Or if you would like to send comments, that would be editor at doonsteef.com. And, you know, there's one other thing that we didn't mention. Um, We are actually paying our authors. All right. Very soon we will have a PayPal donation button in which you can click on it and say, hey... Here's some money for you to pay your authors with. And when it comes down to it, our goal is to be the highest paying market out there because we want to please our listeners and our lady friends. We want to please them with the best stories ever so that you will get the pick of the litter. Hopefully, after a while, it won't be litter so much. 
No, but, you know, I got to say, already we've had many submissions and some really great stories. That's right. And so I'm excited to be bringing these to you. I'm excited about the the ribose in the air. You can feel it. just <laughs> tangible kind of thing. But, hey, no, no, I'm excited to be bringing these stories to you. But we've already got a couple of them done. We're working on them. Should we talk about Revo- Revolution Money Exchange? We were planning on putting a button on for that, too. Apparently there's no fee for using Revolution Money Exchange. So we're considering trying that out, too. Yeah, I think we can put a button on there. Right. And uh, you can say... I press the button. Uh, I love that. Folks, uh, this is going to take some real editing. <laughs> but uh, we thank you for your time. Come to the end of our pre-podcast. And uh, once again, uh, this has been Rich Outfield. And Big Anklevich. Goodbye from the Doonstief Audio, Audio Fiction, Fiction Audio magazine. 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 Thank you for listening to the Dune Steve Audio Fiction Magazine.